Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are gaming it out today. We're here with some kingdoms and castles. I played this game a while back, and it is such a fun little game. It is, uh, it, it it plays so smoothly. It's 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 really well designed, well put together. It's a lot of fun. I really like these kinds of games, and I I, I have to say, I think this this ranks among my favorite of these of these city building style games that I've played. So, I thought I would hop back in. Uh, we'd catch up on the things that have changed since the last time I played, because it's been well over a year since the last time I played this game. And uh, we would see what we remembered and what we could get into and, and perhaps get a series going on it. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking around at, at different areas. <clears throat> I know that I want to be near some trees and I want to be near some stone uh, starting out. So we've got a lot of that at our disposal here in a few different ways. I'm liking... What is that? Oh wow, interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty good area right here. We've got stone, we've got trees, we've got iron, we've got farmland. So I really just have to decide where I want to put my my base. Also, if the clouds could get out of my way, that would be dope. Um, so let's accept this one. I like this one. And uh, choose your banner. You know, let's go with the... Hmm. Let's just keep the blue one. Why not? Let's do that. And then name your kingdom. Dragon's Beach. Uh, that's kind of a cool name, to be honest. Um, but I think we have to go with something like Gigtopia just to stay on brand. You know what I mean? I think that's probably what we have to do. So we're going to accept that. And now we have to... Two. Near fertile land, trees, and stone. So we've got. Let's go ahead and pause. Just. I don't. I'm not even sure time is actually moving yet, but let's be sure. So let's grab our keep. And let's place it like. I want to be near the farmland. Near the fertile farmland, anyway. Although. I don't think that's super necessary right right just yet. So why don't we just why don't we just plop down like why don't we just plop down here? Maybe like here. And we'll just make it work. I like to plan a little bit, but I also kinda like to let things organically happen. <clears throat> so that's that's kinda what we're gonna do. Is Halfway plan, halfway wing it. And you'll see what I'm talking about as, as we get into it. So let's go ahead and let them start building. I believe we start out with five little people. So let's also start getting our roads in the mix. Now, why are my roads facing that way? I thought I could rotate the road. I guess, I guess it matters... If I do like this and then I do like, yeah, that's right, okay. So let's go ahead. We've got that little road started there. We can probably, here, we'll bring this out like this and then we'll bring it through here. And then probably, no, I take that back, actually. I would like to cancel that decision. And I would like, I think, for my road to go this way. And... This way. And then now I need to cut down some trees. So let's just cut down this little trunk right here. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get a quarry going because... Stone is very important. You use stone for a lot of things in this game. And... I didn't know tree. I didn't know the, the roads cost anything to build, actually. So let's get that to there, and probably we'll let them. We'll speed up just a little bit and let them chop some wood a little bit faster. And then what I think is going to be really great about this spot is, I think we're going to be able to put two quarries here. So our stone intake is going to be fantastic. We're going to be in really good shape stone it's already winter uh 
Uh, so let's 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 go. I do know there's a dragon that's gonna come at some point. You do get you do get raided by enemies in this game. There are dragons. There are Vikings. I, there were some others that I can't remember. I feel like I remember some sort of like giant orc or ogre or something like that. Um, all right, let's slow it back down for a second, and let's get you there and you there. That's going to be so nice. What a what a what a what a perfect spot to start out. Also, what I would like to do is get some foresters placed uh, back here. We do need stone for that, so let's let's let them go ahead and get started on that. Uh, they're also going to need some houses. So it looks like if it, if, if industry is going to be up kind of this way, um, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to have housing go kind of down and out this way. So let's take our road. Um, we'll do this, and then we'll, we'll bring it down like this a little bit. And then we'll maybe like here. We'll bring it out this way. And we'll go... We'll start getting some hovels placed. So we'll put you here, here, here. And we'll speed them up a little bit. Let them gather that wood up so we have a little bit more to build with. And start trying to get some foresters placed. So that our, our, our wood gathering is, is kind of automatic. Um, we, we do need to get these houses built so we can get a few more people. Because I think right now we just have no one for the quarry. Yeah, all of our builders... Uh, they're all occupied building these houses, so we'll do this. Hopefully we'll get a few new residents, and then we can start getting the quarry rolling. And we will be in business. Also, if you decide to check this game out and you've never played it before, this little thing right here, uh, you pretty much don't ever need to click it. It's, it's just your advisor's quote-unquote, mm. and he's going to tell you constantly about your farming. He's so nitpicky and annoying. Mm. He's going to tell you constantly to upgrade your houses and make it nicer for people to live here. And she's usually going to say something to that effect. So there's not really much useful information in there. Uh, it, the exclamation point is going to pop up on a very regular basis. So just something to be aware of. <laughs> um, now, can we put farms? Is, is this land fertile as well? I'm out of wood. We probably need to chop a little bit more wood. All right, hopefully we get some more people in here soon, though. Let's get quarry workers up here. I don't care about stockpile workers. I want timber workers. We need more people. It's going to take a little bit to get started. We're going to need some more people. we got 15 beds now, though, so it won't be long. We're starting to get a little bit of stone. So let's think about how we want to start spacing out the, the foresters. We can run... One, we'll run this road out a little bit like this. And then let's say we run a road like... Up into here. We'll cut this tree, and then that's going to be where we place the forester. When we get a little bit more wood, which we will soon. We have enough stone to build it so let's change our job priority back to timber workers being the most important farmland i just want to see you can place it out here okay maybe maybe we start with just a little bit of farm here for now because it's close by and then later on, we'll, we'll branch out, and as, as we get a little bit bigger, we'll branch out into the more fertile land. Um, we have a, almost have enough wood, I think. We're losing wood. Oh, because we're building the farms. That's fine. We do need, we need to start getting some food uh, made and stored up. We've got five more people now. And the builders are occupied, and then it's going to go to timber, which is fine because that's what we need.
and then soon, once we get the forester up, we're going to be in business. We're going we're gonna to have automated wood coming in, automated stone coming in. Uh, we've got our farmland now so we can take care of food when, when need be. Um, we're going to start getting some more houses built. All right, let's slow this down just a second. And we'll go forester. And we'll just butt you right up here for now. And then I would like to run this road out just a bit more. And I need to check the... So if you're there, I need you here. Okay, so perfect. We, 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 were, we were right. So, well, let me let me not get too far ahead of myself here. I think it was this path, right? So we need to cut these trees down. Speed that up a bit. Perfect. Now we will run a road. Let me let me just double check one more time. Sometimes that spacing gets seems funky. So I want it here. Yes. So we'll take roads and we'll run them here. And then we'll take one more forester right there. Perfect. Okay, now we can go ahead and start getting some more houses built. We'll space these guys out a little bit because things will absolutely catch on fire. And that <laughs> becomes a problem when all your houses are crammed together. And we don't have a well yet, and we are not super close to the water, and we don't have a fire station yet. So now we've got wood coming in, we've got stone coming in. Let's start to think about what will be next. It's just me or is the music a, a, a tad bit loud? Let's let's turn the music down just a bit. I still feel like the music's loud and I'm not real sure why it needs to be that loud. That seems... Okay. So a few more houses getting built. We've got a little bit of farmland. We've got our quarry working. Let's think about what's next. I guess it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get an orchard in the mix. Um, we'll see. We'll see about our, what our food storage situation is like. We've got plenty of space out here for uh, for farmland as well. It might not even be a bad idea. I know we have more fertile land up here, but it might not be a bad idea to like residential in this area, and then like farmland. Down this down this stretch, I'm wondering if maybe that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if maybe that's that's the move. Because it's so much, there's so much to work with here. Um, let's let let's let's actually let's do that. Let's start it here. And I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up in preparation to put windmills there because um, you can put a windmill in the center and it in, it, in, uh, it makes the crops more, more productive basically. So you put it in the center and it affects every block around it. So we're gonna go ahead and start preparing for that now. Um, these crops, I think, I think we can go ahead and just get rid of these actually. I don't think they've done much. They've, they've kind of just been snowed on. And I, I think I want to go ahead and get our farm rolling down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And like I said, it'll be a minute before we get to the windmill, but, you know, not a bad idea. I do want to get an orchard put down. Let's put in an orchard. Where do I want to put the orchard? I don't know yet. Let's hold off on the orchard. Not real sure about that, actually. We've got wooden stone coming in. Uh, we do want to get a fishing. We go. Ooh, we got a nice little area for a fishing 
fishing thing here. All right, let's run. Let's run our road down. Just to here. Just go ahead and get that taken care of. You know what? I bet actually, I bet we don't need to do that last one, huh? And then... Fishing hut. We need to get the treasure room built. So we need more stone. We have 40 beds. Recent food shortage. That'll be taken care of soon. Yeah, it'll be taken care of soon, guys. Relax. Working on it. Got 23 people here now, so hopefully... Okay. Timber, quarry, and farmers. We're in, we're in good shape there. Hopefully we'll get some more new people soon. We've got room for 17 more. And, um... I believe once our farm gets rolling... We're gonna be fine. I believe we're gonna be fine. Everybody just wants that bread. Me too, bud. Me too. So we need 50 stones. So why don't we just speed it up real quick? Hopefully, some food starts coming out of that ground soon. We get a little bit more stone, we get the treasure room, we can start taxing our citizens, and then we can really start getting into some stuff. It might not be a bad idea to branch out one more and do another forester, actually. Because we need, we need lots of wood coming in, too. Although it seems to be coming in okay. We are a small village. Let's go. Perfect. 25. Uh, actually, I think we have enough wood coming in at the moment. We're about to have enough stone to build this treasure treasure room. So let's hold off. Let's hold off on that. Treasure room. Why don't we put you... Why don't we put you here? And we'll throw a little road in front of you. How about that? Treasure room's gonna be good. Once it's built, we can tax. We're gonna we're gonna tax. We're gonna do fifteen percent and see how it goes. See how we feel about fifteen percent. What is actually taking our crops so long to grow? That's the question I have. All right. When they finish building that, we should have more farmers. We have a little food there now. That's good. We need more people, badly. Food shortage. So yeah, we're, 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 we're struggling a little bit with the food shortage. Let's see if we can't do some things to start getting some more food in the mix. When we start making a little bit of money, we can build this fishing, fishing hut. Which I think is going to be a great move. Let's put the fishing hut. Let's put the fishing hut. Here. I think that's going to be a good spot for it. And then we're going to need somewhere to store it. I'm not sure if we need somewhere... To store it right away, or what? Okay, it looks like we might be catching up a little bit on food as well. One peasant died of starvation. Well, I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Get your food. Get your food. Get your food, Tina. I guess we need a stockpile worker. We need more people. That's the problem here. We need people to stop dying of starvation for sure, dude. Not off to a great start here. We're going to need a cemetery a little bit sooner than I want to need a cemetery. 
must have that. Well, I'm working on it. There, now we've got fish and we've got crops if the farmers will do their job. I just, I need more people. Uh, I guess what we need to do is, is, is prioritize farmers for a minute. And I guess perhaps fishing industry. We need to stock up on food just a bit. Get a little bit ahead of the game here. We've got enough wood at the moment. See what kind of things we need to think about building. We are going to need a cemetery, unfortunately. So, where do we want to put a cemetery? I, I kind of didn't want to do this already. Um, hmm. That's unfortunate. I reckon we'll put you... I guess I could put it... Here, that's not really going to interfere with the forester, I don't think. The forester's here. No, it's not going to interfere with the forester. Let's let's just put it there then. It's relatively close by. Although the people are dead up here, so like, it might make sense to just like throw it throw it right there. But then if I want to expand it later, yeah, I think I do want it kind of out of the way though. We're we're going to put it there. collectors so let's bring up tax collectors sanitary caretakers for sure right now we need to be a priority off to a little bit of a rocky start but we, we will get it together worry not um Maybe it would be a good idea to get a tavern thrown in the mix. Maybe like... Yeah, maybe like... Maybe the tavern could go here. That might, that might be kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that. Get the tavern there. That'll, that'll up morale a little bit. Hopefully make more people want to move in. And then probably start working on building some new houses, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've got 30 people, 40 beds. Let's, uh, let's think about getting our quarry back in business now. I think we don't need cemetery caretakers at the moment. Nobody's dying. Um, we'll keep the tax collectors in business for the time being. Quarry workers, farmers, fishing industry is good. Let's get the bartenders working so that the tavern actually works. And let's think about building some different housing. So we'll put a cottage. No, let's not do cottages yet. I don't need to do cottages just yet. Let's let's stick to the hobbles. I'm gonna put you here like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. And then we're gonna take our roads. We're gonna run you around. Like that. And we're going to need a well now, huh? Let's get a well placed. Maybe... Right here, actually, might be a good spot. And then we'll run... We can then run roads. We do like that. Yeah, we'll do this. And then what that'll do... Is we can run... 
maybe cottages all through here and here, right? Maybe something like that. We'll figure it out. See what our job situation is looking like at the moment. We've got tax collectors, quarry workers, farmers, bartenders. What, what do we have now? We, we need timber workers back in the mix. We need... Um, we need... Stockpile workers. Do we? I guess. Farmers. We'll leave it here for now. Hopefully we'll get some new residents soon. Doing pretty good on stone. Let's let's look around and see what kind of stuff we can build right now. That we need. What do we need? I don't think we need a fire brigade just yet. Probably not a bad idea to get a clinic placed. Honestly. Probably not a bad idea. We may get hit with a plague at some point. Which 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 part of this is the front? Which one's the front of this building? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. We could put it here. Let's do that. Let's put it there. Now, we could put a windmill, actually. We could go ahead and... You know what? Let's go ahead and put a windmill there. Why not, dude? Coming together now. We're starting to get on top of things now. It's just a matter of needing more people. So maybe with some nicer houses. Maybe with some nicer houses. Let's get some cottages. Here. And here. What I would also like to do is let's see we can make an iron mine I, I reckon it's not a bad idea to go ahead and start thinking about getting some iron made but i want to go i want to go a different route than coming through here because like i said this is going to be my farmland down here so why don't we take this road and we'll run it out and nah, we'll bring it Around here like that. And we'll put the iron mine right there. We can go ahead and get rid of this road. We don't need that. Alright, so we've got an iron mine in the works now. And then we need some charcoal getting cooked up as well. So why don't we put that... Why don't we put that like here and here? Start letting some charcoal get cooked. And we'll be in business. And then when we build a dock, we can start selling stuff, and charcoal can be one of the things we sell. Which actually, while we're, while we're thinking about the dock, is it here? Yeah, it's here. Let's place it like that. Yeah. 84 beds, 48 people. How are our jobs looking? Who's got work? So we got five builders working. We still need quite a few more residents. We don't need cemetery caretakers at the moment. Um, windmill workers. Oh, we need windmill workers for that to be effective, I reckon, huh? Okay, yeah, we still need a lot more people. 
Still need a lot more people. We've got plenty of beds, though. I don't think we need to build any more um, housing. We need to make it more desirable to live here, I would say. We are okay as far as the will is concerned. The library. People like a lot. So I could put cottages there, or I could put more like government buildings there, huh? I could put the library here. That may be kind of a nice little central. Why don't we put it here in the corner? And that way we can cut that road straight through, right? Let's put it there. Still no food, huh? All right, I guess we need to expand our gardening, our, our gardening, our, our, our farming efforts just a bit. So. All right, what do you got? I don't have a ton to sell. Yeah, I don't have anything to sell yet. Maybe next one. Maybe next trip. It's tough because of the things we are building to get people to want to live here. But we need people to work in those things too, but we also need food. Hopefully this helps us stock up a little bit on food. Why don't we also... Throw a... We'll just do a big one. Why not? Throw a granary. Um, I don't think I want it there. Maybe, maybe in the middle. So what do we need to do then? What do we need to do with these roads? I want to keep that like that. Then the road... Let's slow this down for a second. Then the road... And then we go one, two, three, one, two, three. Hmm, where do I want to put the granary? That is a good question. Let's cut a road up through here. Let's just commit to something and do it. So that's there, and now, why don't we put this, we'll put it here. For some reason, I feel like I like it there. For some reason, I feel like I like it staggering them. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's what I feel like I like, so that's what we're going to do. We've got 60 residents now. Should be... Getting to a point where we can catch up on some food, I would think. That's what I would think, anyway. We'll see if that ends up being the case. Looks like we're trying, anyway. can probably lower the tax rate a bit. Maybe that'll push the happiness up some. I think we're going to do orchards in a different spot. I think this will be the straight up farm area and orchards will be a different spot. You know something that might not be a bad idea to do as well is get, start thinking about getting some of this put up. So we can get a tower built and, and whatnot, right? So we'll build this up a bit there. And we'll build these up 
just like that for now. And then once those are done, we'll see where we're at and maybe put an archer tower on it. Because at some point we are going to get attacked and we're going to need to defend ourselves. So maybe that'll be a good way to go. I gotta figure out what I, what, I, what I would like to do with this little space right here. I don't think I want to extend the farm all the way up into there. I want something else to go here. Maybe this will be like where a church or some sort of big... One of these bigger buildings will go. Maybe that's maybe that's what makes sense for that. Archer Tower. Let's put you there. Perfect. Let's slow you down for a sec just to see how we're looking. Job priority. What's not getting done? Miners, dock. We have so many jobs that need doing. What does it need doing right now? Quarry workers, timber workers, tax collectors, builders, windmill workers, farmers, bartenders, fishing industry. We need we need so many more people. 62 people, 84 beds. So we've got room. We just got to get them in here. I can't build anything else right now that requires um, jobs. Should I just build more residences? Should that Should that be a thing we do? What if I build a manor right here? What if I did that? Let me run this road here. Okay, I, I don't I kinda don't mind them staggered like that. We'll save that spot for something else soon. We'll speed it up just a bit. There's the dragon. We knew he was coming at some point. Now I have the archer tower, but I'm not sure. Is if I do something like this, do they go up in there and then do we have archers? Might be too late. Yeah, might be too late at the moment, but noted. Noted for next time. I mean, eventually we'll, we'll be able to just have them sitting up in there and that'll be fine, but for now that was not the case. I think for the first time he comes, it's, it's just kind of a warning. Oh, he's coming back. I guess we'll see if he sets anything on fire or if he just flies around roaring at us. We're up to 69 people, 84 beds. This manor's almost done. That's going to put us up at quite a few. Yeah, 109 now. In good shape. In good shape. We, I still don't think have much to sell. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a little bit. So what we've got to do is, is work on creating some more efficiency here with what we have going on. We have a little bit of food. You know what I think might not be a bad idea right now? I think maybe we got a little ahead of ourselves with the windmills. So, I think what I'm going to do is just put farmland here. And I'm going to do this. And then, let's see. Five available for pickup. Yeah, we really just need more people, huh? We have a couple of charcoal makers, but we've got nobody doing a lot of this stuff down here. Although it's getting better. It is getting better. 
We're slowly spreading it out. Like most of the important things are are getting covered. You know what we could do? Is this area could be Here's what we could do. Here's what we can do. I have an idea. Maybe this will save us a little bit of time. Where is it? We'll put some stockpiles. We could put one here. And we can put some Let's put one here. And then can we fit one up here anywhere? There. Maybe that'll save some 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 traffic. Maybe that'll save some running they've they've been having to do. We can be a little bit more efficient. And I think this is a good place to wrap up the first episode. Uh, we will be back very soon to continue this and see if we can grow our kingdom and catch up. We, we're a little bit behind in the way of efficiency at the moment, but I've, I, I feel optimistic. I feel like we're going to get it under control and, and be in good shape. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.